everybody else can just mute. Good afternoon, everybody. Uh, welcome to the third day of the Northwest Regional Better Business for All Week. My name is Neil Boyle and I work for a local delivery, part of the Office for Product Safety and Standards. Some quick housekeeping before we enter this session. Um, please mute your mics. This will help our uh, help us avoid any background noise. Any questions, and I hope you do have some questions. Always makes for a more interesting session. Please just raise your hand uh, towards the end of the session or just type in your question in the chat area. Please turn your cameras off unless you're speaking. Uh, you might find it helpful if the audio quality is a little bit poor to turn on your live captions. And you can do that very easily by clicking the three dots on the top of your screen and choosing live captions. And just to let you know before we start that we're recording this session. And I can see that it is being recorded. So I'm here today with a colleague of mine, Jackie White, who is our local delivery lead in the northeast of England. And Jackie, Jackie will be controlling very kindly our MS chat and encouraging you all to put in your thoughts, your comments and your questions. Another colleague of mine is another Jackie, Jackie Fitzsimons, and Jackie Fitzsimons is our local delivery lead in the Northwest region. Jackie has put together this very interesting week, uh, this week-long series of sessions for us, so we can learn more about BBFA as well as promote BBFA uh, as an initiative, as a framework. So far in this week, we've had introductions to BBFA, uh, we've had meet the regulator sessions, so we've met trading standards, fire and rescue services, and we've also met uh, environmental health. Also, we've had a chance to meet um, two economic development teams. So one of the key partners for the success of the BBFA initiative are growth hubs. And in today's session, we're going to meet the Greater Manchester Growth Hub. Our speaker today is Colin Brew, Head of Strategic Relationships at Growth Company Business Growth Hub, that's GCBGH for short. And I'm aware, Colin, that you actually started your job with GCBGH uh, back in May, which happened to be the middle of lockdown. So very unusually, you haven't actually met any of your colleagues face to face. Um, thank goodness for MS Teams. Maybe you can mention your experience and how it's been so far. Uh, just before I hand over to Colin, Colin's session today will be covering an overview of the Growth Hub, um, how the Growth Hub works with the Greater Manchester Regulatory Centre of Excellence, and how this work supports the regulatory needs of local businesses. So a warm welcome to Colin, and I'll pass over to you. Thank you, Neil. That was a very kind welcome and thank you to the uh, Office for Product Safety and Standards for the invitation today. Um, as Neil said, my name is Colin Brew. I'm Head of Strategic Relationships at Business Growth Hub. And indeed, I did start this job in the midst of lockdown, uh, which has come with its challenges, although I think we're all facing those in the current climate. Um, it does come with it, its advantages in that I suppose I've been able to meet and speak to uh, a whole host of people that in the physical world I may not have had the opportunity to do so. Uh, so this is a great opportunity for me to talk you through a little bit about who uh, Growth Company Business Growth Hub are, what we do, and the impacts that we have across Greater Manchester, and then segueing into our work with regulators and specifically how we work with uh, Greater Manchester Regulatory Centre of Excellence. So if we could just move to the first slide, please. Uh, I just wanted to give you a quick overview of, of why we exist. Uh, we exist through our vision to really unlock the growth potential of businesses across Greater Manchester to, cre to create that thriving and uh, productive economy. Um, and we've been doing that since 1989. So just moving on to the next slide. Uh, this slide just details some of the asks that we deliver against. Obviously, we have the internal group ask of the growth company to create a strong home base and seek out new opportunities for future work. We also deliver against the asks of the Greater Manchester strategy 
whether that be around inclusive growth of business, uh, fitting with the uh, sector needs of the local industrial strategy, our focus on startups, scale ups and growth businesses, looking to seize those international opportunities, focus on that low carbon economy transition and exploit research and innovation. I have added the Brexit word at the end there, although I believe we refer to that now as EU transition. We also deliver against key government tasks around again the national industrial strategy, the role of growth hubs uh, to support local businesses scale up internationalization and the low carbon agenda but probably most importantly to us it's delivering against the specific needs of local businesses across greater manchester and businesses tell us that there are a number of barriers that they face to growth whether that be not attaining the right skills uh, in terms of recruitment accessing new customers and new markets accessing finance um, and, and, and adequate uh, strategic planning um, or just simple things like access to good broadband speed and in terms of the support that businesses are asking us for very much around enhancing their sales and marketing strategies developing their workforce skill sets expanding on um, on workforce development Business growth advice, very straightforward, and again, accessing finance. And as we, we we transition across to EU themes, we are getting more and more questions around how businesses can adapt to new ways of working. So if we just move on to the next slide. Business Growth Hub is part of the growth company, and the growth company has been uh, driving forward business, economic and personal development uh, within Greater Manchester communities since 1989. And we do that uh, in a number of ways through a number of subsidiaries uh, as part of the growth company. We are a not for profit organisation, so we reinvest all our profits back into the business. And I've just listed some of the subsidiaries of the growth company there. And I suppose hopefully that will show you just what a, the, the scale of the growth company is across Greater Manchester. So if we could just move on to the next slide. We work with a number of key stakeholders and funders, and we are obviously accountable to our funders. Key stakeholders across Greater Manchester are obviously in the main our 10 local authority partners who are listed there. And we also work with other uh, central government departments. But our funding and who we're accountable to comes through the Greater Manchester Combined Authority, the European Regional Development Fund and the Northern Powerhouse. And we work very closely to ensure that we meet the expectations of our funders. So we just move to the next slide. I just wanted to also refer to the fact that we work with the private sector closely as well. The, in the main, our delivery is public sector driven, but we are working to develop closer relationships with the private sector on a cross referral basis, and that's developing new and exciting opportunities for the future. So just moving on to the next slide. So I mentioned to you our work with the 10 local authorities across Greater Manchester. And what we try to do as best as we can is tailor our appro approach and our delivery to the specific needs of each local authority. Each authority has a slightly different nuance in terms of sectors and strengths. But in the main, the key drivers of growth that we focus upon are business, financial and professional services life sciences, advanced manufacturing, green tech and services, and digital and creative tech. Those are our core focus areas. So just moving on to the next slide. GC Business Growth Hub um, has been developing our service offer over the years, just beyond core growth and startup. And what we now are in a position to do is provide support around everything listed there, whether that be accessing the right levels of finance for a business, focus on innovation and digitization. I mentioned before on a previous slide, workforce development, 
leadership and mentoring. And we also focus now quite heavily on resource efficiency and the carbon reduction side of things, because obviously Greater Manchester does have a plan to be carbon net zero by 2038. We also offer specialist expertise around those prime capability sectors and markets, namely manufacturing, digital and creative and green technology and services. So if we could just move to the next slide. We offer support for businesses universally. Uh, so any Greater Manchester business can gain access to our workshops, our, our, our events and our networking. Obviously, all of that has gone virtual in recent months, uh, but we're, we're quite an agile organisation and we've been able to adapt very well to the, the challenges that COVID-19 has thrown up. Uh, we provide that universal support around advisory support and diagnostic and then brokerage uh, to the right people who can support businesses in the right way. But we also offer a more targeted support, which is again based around a full diagnostic review of business. But we are in a position to allocate assigned account managers to local businesses and each of our 10 local authority districts has a as a dedicated account manager and key account manager to service those business needs. We offer one-to-one -one specialist support, as I mentioned before, around those core driver areas. And we also run a number of cohort programs. Um, I've listed a few. So as an example, Spark to Scale is very much focused on overcoming barriers to growth. Uh, Recipe for Success is a comprehensive support program which is specific to the food and drink industry and specifically food and drink SMEs who have a, a vision of growth. Uh, and Global Scale Up, which is very much focused on developing international opportunities. Um, a more recent uh, service and programme that we're, we've been rolling out across Greater Manchester is our Enterprising You programme. Enterprising You is a fully funded six month program, um, which ultimately um, aims to develop the growth potential of, of the self-employed. Um, and that's a program which offers one to one coaching support and very much focused on maximizing potential, developing skills and training and focusing on those ambitions uh, and aspirations for growth. So just moving to the next slide. We, uh, we have contractual and non-contractual impacts and ultimately these are the key performance indicators that we work to within Business Growth Hub. Very much contractual around business assists, jobs created, new startups created. You can see from the list there, those core areas of contractual focus. But we also have, I suppose, slightly softer KPIs that we work to around mentoring, sales increases, projected jobs, referrals, which is something that I'll come on to later, and general business engagement. So you can see that we are quite heavily focused on the impacts that we make across Greater Manchester. So just moving on to the next slide. I've listed just some of the achievements that we've made to date. And uh, you can see there that, you know, we have a solid return on investment for every pound invested in our work. Uh, we have safeguarded over 11,000 jobs, created over 10,000 jobs, supported almost a thousand uh, lead business leaders in their own development. We have worked extensively with over 11,000 businesses and we've also worked to reduce the, the, the carbon emissions across Greater Manchester by 1.6 million tonnes. Again, I mean, that list could go on quite considerably. And what I just wanted to try and do was highlight some of those key achievements. But again, more than happy to take any questions at the end around what, what sort of levels of impacts we're having across Greater Manchester. So just moving on to the next slide, and I think this is where I'd like to 
hopefully given you that overview of who we are and what we do and what our impact is, but more specifically how we work with the Greater Manchester Regulatory Centre of Excellence, which ultimately is Greater Manchester's version of Better Business for All. So we're just going to move to the next slide and I believe there's a short video just uh, to show you. I'm not sure if the video is going to play. No. Not a problem. That's technology for you. I think we're all getting used to uh, to dealing with technology. Um, I'm, I'll try. Yeah, I probably didn't do what needed to, and I could see it playing. I didn't realise it wasn't playing for anybody else. <laughs> so. No problems, Jack. Does anybody know what I need to do? And I'll I'll do it. No, oh. not, not not to worry. It was it was just a short video which um, which we we host on our website, which just gives a very basic overview of what GMRCE has to offer local businesses. Oh, and I think that sorry to interrupt you, but um, Adam's put there that actually people can play it themselves. So if you want to give them a minute, they can just press play. Oh, All right, excellent. Let's get well, good. We could do that. <laughs> yeah, no, that sounds good. I'll I'll hold fire for a moment if everybody wants to press play. Maybe you can let me know when uh, when uh, when we're ready to move on. I think we're nearly there. Okay. Yes, then. Okay, super. Well, if if you didn't get a chance to watch the video, uh, it is hosted on our website, so you can have a little look there. But uh, what that video basically did is give a very simple overview of the offer available from the Greater Manchester Regulatory Centre of Excellence. And GC Business Growth Hub teamed up with GMRCE basically to provide up to 10 hours of fully funded bespoke uh, regulatory advice tailored to the specific needs of businesses across Greater Manchester. And as it says on this slide, GMRC is effectively Greater Manchester's version of BBFA, a unique partnership between the 10 local authorities across Greater Manchester and GMFRS, Greater Manchester Fire and Rescue Service. And they provide a single point of access for advice covering all forms of regulatory compliance, as it said there. Services include free signposting, access to free and paid for workshops, expert help if you're getting uh, advice on regulation for the first time, alongside scrutiny of your current processes and procedures. So if we're okay to move to the next slide. So Better Business for All and certainly uh, the Greater Manchester Centre of Excellence is made is almost made up of a triangle uh, and it's based, as you're aware, on the national government BBFA programme and focused on the way that, um, well, the changing way that re regulation is del delivered and received by business. Um, Better Business for All is not about being a burden to businesses, uh, rather it's about being seen as being approachable and supporting uh, businesses in their compliance, as well as obviously promoting growth. So very much a balance between compliance and profitability. Um, Greater Manchester Regulatory Centre of Excellence adheres to the regulator's code, which, as I'm sure many of you will be aware, is very much focused on listening and hearing the views of business, basing all regulatory activity around risk, sharing and communicating information around compliance and risk, 
ensuring that the information and advice is made available to business and obviously ensuring a transparent approach as well. So just moving to the next slide. So as the specialist advice is fed in, um, so opportunities can arise for primary authority partnerships. So launched back in 2009, primary authority is effectively the flagship offer from GMRCE and it enables a business or a business organization to form a legally recognized partnership with a local authority or a local fire service which very much allows them to receive advice on meeting environmental health and trading standard regulations or fire safety regulations through a, a single point of contact. And this really enables startup businesses or businesses who haven't sought advice around compliance to really get it right from the outset. It enables them to invest in their compliance with confidence. Um, and I suppose from a business's perspective, it's very much compliance well spent. So just moving on to the next slide, please. So as I mentioned, we work very closely with uh, Steve at GMRCE, um, and we do that in a number of ways. We, um, we have a cross referral system whereby GMRCE refers uh, their clients to Business Growth Hub for further support where necessary, and Business Growth Hub refers clients to GMRCE when they're in need of specific regulatory advice. And since 2018, over 100 businesses have been referred into GMRCE from the Business Growth Hub for support. We work together uh, to schedule events, workshops and seminars. Um, we hosted a Becoming a Brewer event uh, as part of Manchester Beer Week, and that was including a local uh, brewery firm, Runaway Brewery, very much focusing on advice around trading standards and environmental health. We recently ran a workshop around developing a distillery. Um, there is a concurrent alcohol theme running through all of these workshops and seminars. Um, and then we had input there from a local gin distiller. Um, and GMRC has inputted um, on numerous occasions onto the cohort programmes that I referred to earlier, as well as our EU transition uh, drop-in sessions. We have worked together on shared learning days. Uh, we've had sh three shared learning days to date, and that brings together Business Growth Hub uh, advisors, GMRCE, local authority regulators, and Greater Manchester Fire and Rescue Service. And those shared learning days, the most recent we had was at Old Trafford, really about sharing best practice, raising awareness to what each entity does and how they can support each other. And those have been hugely beneficial just in terms of raising the bar of awareness um, through each organisation. And through promotion and communication, um, you, you, you'll have seen the video that I mentioned, Business Growth Hub hosts a dedicated web page on our website to the work of GMRCE. And we have an online referral process page um, within that page, which allows businesses to, uh, to be referred directly to GMRCE. And we also support uh, a cross promotion and communication in our, in our communications to clients. So just moving on to the next slide. Um, I think the businesses are, are sorry, the benefits are evident to us all. I think the businesses benefit through gaining the right advice, through being able to evolve their procedures and to become more compliant. Uh, Business Growth Hub, it supports our expectations of our funders and our desire to meet our vision that we are um, gaining referrals from GMRC, but also passing referrals back to them as well. The regulators, I think the regulators benefit by having much more positive engagement with businesses, working with businesses and listening to businesses rather than enforcing upon businesses. And that clearly saves a lot of time and money. And obviously, from a Greater Manchester perspective, all of that work combined together and knitted together 
provides a much more compliant and sustainable business base for the future. So just moving on to the next slide. I've just highlighted a couple of, well, a few companies who have benefited both from GMRCE support and Business Growth Hub support. And I just wanted to, to touch on a couple of those. Um, so if we take uh, Hunter Price International, which is just on the top left uh, hand side, um, Hunter Price was a referral from GMRCE into Business Growth Hub. They're an olden based company who design and manufacture uh, innovative products for the retail and distributor sector, both in the UK and globally. Um, they were referred, as I mentioned, from G GMRCE into the Business Growth Hub and they've benefited from a range of services and support that we've been able to offer them most notably supporting the development of their marketing and sales strategy, developing their international growth ambitions, and more recently we've been be able to provide a lot of guidance and signposting around COVID-19. Uh, another good example of a company that was referred from the Business Growth Hub into GMRCE is Happy Belly. Now, Happy Belly are a Bolton based food manufacturer uh, developing savoury delectables. And whilst they were getting business growth advice from Business Growth Hub, they needed advice specifically around food labelling as they were about to enter into um, a new contract with a large supermarket chain. They gained expert advice from GMRCE on what they needed to do to support that transition into that new line of work, that new market. And that's been a real success story in terms of what GMRC has been able to do to support them. Um, AirPure International is another good example of Business Growth Hub referring into GMRCE. They're a Bury based um, wholesaler of household goods um, and they have entered into a primary authority relationship with Bury Local Authority through that referral into GMRCE and they're gaining comprehensive advice on specific legislation covering the labelling of cleaning goods. Um, and a final example of, of how it's working is Pets Day North Manchester. Uh, that was a, a referral again from GMRCE back into the Growth Hub to support um, and they've gained access to support specifically around gaining access to networking opportunities and events, um, business banking and finance, and more recently, uh, COVID-19 guidance and support around um, grants and support for business. So, uh, it, you know, I appreciate we're, we're time limited, but hopefully that gives you a flavour of some of that cross referral work in action. So just moving on to the next slide, please. I think clearly there are challenges and opportunities ahead. I think one of the biggest challenges we face is the scale of Business Growth Hub and the number of advisors. And I think that presents a, a, an awareness on an upskilling challenge. I mean, clearly there's an opportunity there by having access to more businesses and more advice, but clearly more advisors are required to educate themselves around the benefits of better business for all and regulatory advice. So I think that's something that we'd definitely like to do more of in terms of upskilling. In terms of accurate metrics, uh, pr that process for referrals and more so around being able to celebrate the success um, of that referral piece. I think there is more that we can do there. Again, is primary authority the most suitable offer for Business Growth Hub clients? And is there more that we can offer alongside GMRCE? And then EU transition and COVID-19, they have offered huge challenges to us all, but they all also offer uh, great opportunities for the future and opportunities for Business Growth Hub and regulators to combine further and work more closely together. So if we can just move to the next slide. So just, uh, just drawing to a conclusion what we will do more of, not so much what we can and should do more of, but what we will do more of. And I'm working very closely with GMRC to ensure that this comes to fruition. 
So very much want to focus on more shared learning days, that upskilling of not only the business growth hub advisor community, but also the regulators understanding of who business growth hub are and what they do. Possibly inclusion of regulatory advice within that initial diagnostic that we carry out with businesses and really ha highlighting that as an area of need for business. Increasing the scope for Business Growth Hub staff and regulators to input into what we can do better and how GMRCE and the Growth Hub can work more closely together. I think building the confidence and winning the hearts and mind of business is really important and we'll do that through continued communication and the likes of the video that you watch there are a very simple method by which we can win those hearts and minds. And then I think importantly, taking time to celebrate the success. I know I've highlighted a couple of case studies today, but you know we need to do more of that. We need to communicate and shout about our success. I think we're all slightly guilty of um, fighting the fire and getting on with the day job. And sometimes we just need to take a step back and consider all of the good things that we do. So just the final slide. Um, we're very keen that if you have any questions or you want to find out more about who we are and what we do, that you contact us. And I've just highlighted uh, our website and my contact details if anybody wants to know more specifically about the Business Growth Hub. And in terms of GMRCE, my colleague Nick Redrop, who I've mentioned once or twice, is, would also be very keen for anybody to get in touch with queries, questions, um, or ideas on how we can improve things across Greater Manchester. So I'll draw it to a close there. I know I probably uh, rattled through that quite quickly, but more than happy to take any questions from the floor. Thank you, Colin. Uh, yeah, we have gone a little bit over our time. Never mind. Uh, we completely understand those who have to leave will leave. Uh, so no, no need to apologise. Uh, very good presentation, Colin. Thank you very much. I think you've won some hearts and minds there. Um, Jackie, do we have some questions? Yes, yeah, a couple of questions come in. So, so due to time, I'll I'll read the questions out for you. So, one from Teresa. Um, I believe the referral between regulators improves uh, improves after you uh, improved after your shared learning day. Why do you think that was? I think that opportunity of just understanding what each other does, Jackie, is really important. And I think we can all gain something when we learn something new. We can adopt, uh, adapt that into our own processes and procedures. So I think that opportunity to bring regulators, growth hub advisors, local authority uh, together, I think those are, um, you know, we, we have certainly seen the benefits of that and we've seen those referrals increase and it would be definitely something that I would recommend to other growth hubs to do. That's great. I've got a further question from uh, Jackie. Uh, so this is a great example um, of BDFA in practice, um, certainly effortless integration, which is, which, you know, is the principles of Better Business for All. But what advice would you give uh, to a brand new partnership that's sort of just starting out from, from the beginnings? I would just say reach out, seek advice. Don't, you know, don't don't be afraid to, as I think as Better, Better Business for All states, you know, it's not a, a stick to beat business with. It's there to support, to listen, to advise. And if you can get it right in the early days, it saves so much time and, and, and effort in the future, both from the business's perspective, but also from the regulator's point of view. Yeah, absolutely. That's great. Thank you. That is the questions uh, that have been posted. Are there any further questions from anybody viewing? Please feel free to raise your hands if you do have any. Otherwise, we'll bring it to a close. OK, I can't see any hands. Um, Colin, thank you so much. Uh, thanks also to Jackie Fitzsimons and Jackie White for your support in this. Um, I hope it wasn't too apparent that I had major IT difficulties about 10 minutes before this meeting started. So I've been using my touch screen instead of my keyboard, etc, cetera, etc. Cetera. Uh, you have won some hearts and minds, certainly in my house. Um, and from somebody else's house, I heard a dog getting very excited <laughs> in the background, whoever that was. Um, thank you so much, Colin. Um, for your Pleasure.
Thank bye. You. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you, Colin. Yeah, some great insight. Thanks very much. Bye bye.